Hello everybody, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, we're down by the river and I've got this toy here from Mavic. What we're going to do is FPV flight using goggles in HD. And lurking in the shadows over here is Richie, my friend and uh, neighbour and also very talented guitarist in Tigers and Emperors. G'day. He is my spotter because we need a spotter for flying FPV and we always play by the rules. Okay, let's see what we've got. We have DJI Mavic and we have the Nvidia K1 Shield tablet which has an HDMI out and we're going to use that to connect to the Headplay HDs and probably try them in my Dominator HDs as well, although it's not going to work quite so well in those because they're a 4x3 goggle. Um, and I'm going to fly over there. There's a golf course over there somewhere on the other side of that large scary Brisbane River. But we have all of the technologies, so we're not going to crash in the river. It's all going to be fun. So we've moved into the shade because we're sensible people and it's Queensland and actually bloody hot. Um, somehow appropriate to be playing from a playground anyway. Gonna take off from over there. Which is on the job. Yeah. yeah. So we're ready to go. Got a GPS lock and we have HD picture in the goggles and you can see that the image is slightly distorted because the tablet's not putting out 1080p it's putting out 16 by 10 signal so it's being scaled anyway but uh, we'll manage it's still a very crisp picture there's a little bit of lag on it of course but not a lot um, so for the type of flying we're doing it should be fine so this first problem cable's actually not long enough for me to stand up so I'm going to sit do you want to put it on there? No, no. Okay. I'll have a solution. Nice. So you'll notice at this point that the image is what we like to call a little bit soft. Uh, the technical term is actually out of focus. Uh, I learned something about the Mavic today. If you start the recording before you take off, you might end up with the grass in focus and then it won't refocus unless you manually tap the screen. And for some reason I didn't notice this in the HD view. I guess it wasn't quite HD enough. I've sped this little bit up because uh, it took quite a long time in real life and uh, you don't need to see a blurry golf course. And now we can see the other problem with using the head play goggles. Uh, it makes you look like an enormous dork. Even though I am sitting on a piece of play equipment in a playground sort of compounding that problem. The picture is very good though and uh, you could definitely fly using these things and you can see an awful lot of detail including some little tiny ghost branches uh, which there's no way you would see in an ordinary analog FPV view. Here I decided to do a little bit of quote unquote proximity flying in the trees and it was uh, perfectly easy and I could really see well. For example, those little ghost branches on the right that I'm going past now were, were quite plain and easy to see. And that's the bit where we discovered that Richie needs a little bit more spotter training. Sweaty business. Kind of cool. My 
much more immersive than flying it via a tablet. But of course you need somebody else keeping an eye out for you. Call that a success. Shall we try the other goggles just briefly? Sure. Yeah, why not? So I decided here that I'd give the Fat Sharks a go as well. Uh, these are the Dominator HD2s and uh, the picture's in 4x3 but the distortion wasn't actually that bad and the, uh, the image was also pretty clear. I think overall I preferred flying with these to the head plays even though the field of view is smaller and you don't get that massive vista of everything. Uh, but it's probably more what I'm used to from flying mini quads and race quads so the goggles are just a lot more comfortable to wear. So your field of view is smaller, but I was still able to read all the elements of the, um, the DJI OSD overlays and um, see my battery life and direction to home and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, it was nice and crisp. I suppose the other point with the Dominator versus head play uh, discussion is that the Mavic is a small portable drone designed for travel and for um, compactness so it kind of defeats the purpose if your goggles are actually bigger than the drone that you're flying. Even though you get a much uh, bigger field of view the Fat Sharks are still perfectly good for flying and they're, they're a much more compact goggle to carry with you on the road. So overall this was a pretty good uh, experience. I quite enjoyed it. And it felt much more natural to me to fly the Mavic like this than to fly uh, looking down at a phone screen squinting in the sunlight. This is obviously after years of flying FPV uh, racing drones and, and acro stuff myself so that's my natural comfortable space. And the problem with that of course is that you can't immediately switch to a line of sight view. So you do need to have a spotter and, uh, and make sure that you're aware of your surroundings and what's going on around you. But in terms of a solution for flying FPV with the Mavic in HD, um, I think that the, the Shield tablet was a, a winner. So um, the problem is the size, you've got to live with that. Uh, you get a nice tablet at the same time, which is a good gaming tablet. And of course you need to make sure that you have a long enough lead uh, that goes from the tablet to your goggles. I think I'm going to invest in a slightly longer HDMI lead, uh, probably two meters will be enough so that you could leave the tablet on the ground and have uh, the controller in your hands and still be able to uh, connect to the goggles. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, um, if you have any comments leave them below and um, you know do all of the usual things, subscribe and all of that uh, fun stuff and we'll catch you next time, bye.